Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Question is, will it still be steamy when the Ooh. Panthers come to town, Ivan? Still going to be steamy Sunday. I mean, uh, we're going to get cool, but uh, it's going to take a while. Heading into a Monday, Lauren's already wearing her pink for our more than pink walk for uh, tomorrow. I've got the pink uh, tie on. Maybe I'll make an appearance if I can wake up early enough. 90 degrees, a good cause. Hope you uh, come join us. 98, uh, obviously, the feels like temperature has been out of control for today. Triple digits, but some cloud cover has helped us out. We managed still to hit that record high, 95 degrees. We went right over the 93 set back in 1990. So it took us uh, several decades to make it uh, one of the warmest October days uh, in history here in Florida. And we have it upper 80s. So you see the keys and marathon there still factoring in the humidity. It's upper 80s, but it's so warm or it's so humid that it makes it feel still like it's in the triple digits. Uh, we still have the heat advisory as a result for the entire keys. Miami Dade's heat, uh, heat advisory has been allowed to expire. And the reason for that, we had some thunderstorms up to the north and the cloud cover kind of acted as a little bit of a shield here from the sun. So it brought temperatures down a bit and certainly the heat index as well. And by the way, those showers continue moving west to east and they're fast movers watching us from Pompano Beach, uh, Deerfield Beach, seeing a few little stragglers moving through. Not going to rain uh, the entire evening. These will be very isolated, but they are moving quickly. So we're not expecting much in the way of any significant rainfall here. Rain tracker diminishing them and pushing them out toward the Atlantic. So for Saturday, same plan, record heat once again. We're going to have temps into the low to mid 90s. It'll feel like the triple digits and then we'll have some showers and thunderstorms through the afternoons. So keep that in mind. And Sunday will be the same thing. Now Sunday the front will arrive. It just won't get here in time to cool us off. So as the front dips to the south, we'll get some showers and storms that will eventually end up down towards the Keys and then the doors open to fall weather here across South Florida. It is going to be fantastic. Monday and Tuesday record low humidity and also well we could see some record lows. I'm not going to count those out, but we'll get you there in a second. I want to plan out the rain for you tomorrow as you see some of the showers and storms through the morning hours. So if you are going to be attending the walk, just keep in mind we will have some showers. So bring a poncho. That's not a bad idea. And then we'll begin to clear things out as we head through the remainder of uh, the day. There comes the front and the temperatures in the 50s I've thrown in here now. Some of the models indicating even places like, you know, uh, in Broward County could be in the upper 50s. So we won't rule that out as we head into the morning hours. And you see there by Tuesday, this is the temperatures there, low 60s and low 70s down towards the Keys. And that's going to be nice. Quick check on the the tropics, we do have a couple of features here. Sean is just falling apart. We'll ignore Sean for the most part. This tropical wave, though, I want to talk a little bit more about. There is the forecaster, Sean, not making it through the weekend. This is the way that has an 80% chance of developing as it moves towards the west. And if you have interest in the lesser Antilles, this could arrive as a tropical depression. It's not going to make it further west than that. It perhaps could arrive even as a tropical storm, Sammy. So that's going to be a big rain event for them and some gusty winds. For us, the forecast for the weekend, as we have a lot going on this weekend, temperatures again. Not going to cool off until that front comes in. That'll happen Monday and thereafter. Much cooler weather with overnight lows in the 60s.